Welcome back to my video lesson under the course Biology. Now, in the course of today's lesson, I will be solving past questions on biology. And in the course of solving past questions in biology, I will be explaining the questions. And the questions will be on the screen. Now, and the topic we'll be discussing today is the characteristics of living organisms and cell structures. So we'll be solving questions on the characteristics and also the cell structure, the characteristics of living things and also the cell structure. So the first of the question here is, the question will be provided in the screen, so you check. So basically, if I read out the question, you can pause the video and answer the question. So at the end of explaining, you get the correct answer to the question. So the first question here is, a plant cell differ from an animal cell in the possession of a plant cell differs from an animal cell in the possession of a a cell membrane b a large vacuole c a cytoplasm and d protoplasm and e nucleus now the answer to the question is basically option b and what is option b it is a large vacuole now, it must be noted that all of the options, which is option A, option B, option C, option D, and option E, are present in both plants and animal cells. But the difference now is in the option B, which is the vacuole. Now, this must be noted. Now, the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell is that the vacuole in a plant cell is large than the vacuole seen in an animal cell. So the difference in this particular question will be option B, which is the vacuole. Take note, in plant cell, the vacuole is large, while in animal cell, the vacuole is small. So that is for this first question. Now let's quickly proceed to the second question. Now here, the question says, which of the following is the largest single cell in the body? The answer to this question, let me read out the option. Now, option A says the ovum. Option B says the neuron. Option C says the liver cells. And option D says the muscle cell. Now, looking at this question carefully, it must be noted that the largest single cell in the body is the ovum. Okay, the ovum is same as the egg. So the largest single cell is option A, which is the ovum. And also, you can see option B wrote neuron. Neuron is a cell. Now, this neuron is not the largest single cell, but rather it is the longest single cell of the body. The longest single cell of the body. Now, let's quickly proceed. Now, option, uh, question three. Euglena may be classified as a plant because... Now, option A here is has a chloroplast. And we already know chloroplast is for photosynthesis. Option B says has a gullet for absorption of food. Option C says live in ponds. Option D says possession of a flagella as a pellicle. Now, why is euglena classified as, as a plant? Basically, the answer will be option A because it has a chloroplast. And chloroplast is for photosynthesis. And photosynthesis is seen in plants. So that is why the answer will be option A, which is has a chloroplast. Now, question four says, one of the following is normally regarded as the powerhouse of a cell. Now, option A here is the mitochondria. Option B here is the ribosome. Option C here is the Golgi body. Option D here is the nucleus. And option E is the plasma. Now, the right answer to this question is option A. The powerhouse of a cell is regarded to be called the mitochondria. Now, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of a cell. Now, option B says ribosome. Ribosome is for protein synthesis, formation of new proteins. And you can see option D here was nucleus. That's the dense part of the nucleus, or you say the aqueous part of the nucleus. Now, the next question will be the basic unit from which all living organisms are built up are, so they're asking the smallest unit of life, option A, tissues. Option B, muscle. Option C, cell. Option D, nuclei. And option 
e organs you already know the basic functional and structural units of life is called the cell so the answer goes to option c is called the cell which of the following are not animals basically option a is insect option b is fish option c is goat option d is cow and option e is bacteria so which of the following is not animal the all day will be bacteria that's the answer bacteria is the answer to the question bacteria is not an animal but it's just a microorganism that causes various uh, diseases and the rest and also basically it has various shapes due to its morphology so we call it to the end of this video so if you like this video do well to hit the subscribe button and also share my videos with your friends thank you very much and god bless you all